in case you're new. I'm Chef D for Chef State of Mind. Today we're going to be making a dark chocolate sauce. Now, this can go on anything, cakes, ice cream, beignets if you watched my last video. Just stay with us. We're going to show you the best, easiest, simplest way to make a delicious, scoopable, spoonable chocolate sauce. All right, so what, you may be asking yourself, what, what, what do I need to make a chocolate sauce other than chocolate? So first things first, you want some nice, good quality chocolate. This is 60% this is sixty cacao, okay? This is semi-sweet dark chocolate, if you don't know what that means, all right? So here we have just a little bit of milk with a little bit of vanilla extract in there. Yes, we're using, we're using real vanilla extract, okay? You can even use a vanilla bean, but I don't have that, okay? Then we have a little bit of sugar right here. All right, we're just gonna pour this, pour this into a, a pan. We're gonna turn our heat to high. I'm gonna pour all that sugar in there too. You may be asking yourself, Demetria, she didn't measure that. You do not, I repeat, do not have to measure this. This is how easy this recipe is, okay? All you need is sugar, vanilla, um, chocolate, okay, in a pot. That's all you need, all right? So we're gonna let this heat up. It's gonna take about three minutes. You want it to come to about a, uh, a rolling simmer, not a boil, just a, like a heavy simmer, all right? As soon as that happens, we'll be right back. All right, so now that, now that it's come to a, a nice hard simmer, I'm gonna turn off that heat. I'm gonna add this right into our chocolate. Okay, it's gonna start to melt that chocolate, all right? You don't want to add all of it because it might be too much and you got to add more chocolate and you might add too much chocolate and you got to heat up some more milk. So the best thing to do is to add the milk and sugar and vanilla slowly. Just continuously mix. Keep mixing it. See how that's starting to melt? I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. You don't need to rush to do this. Look at that. And this slowly like this is gonna also help to stop the chocolate from breaking. That means that the oil and the sugar and all that that's in the chocolate is gonna start to separate. You don't you do not want that. I repeat, you do not, do not want this chocolate to break on you, all right? Because then you're going to have to start all back over. I'm going to keep adding a little bit more. Okay, almost there. Nice and drizzly. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much what we want. See how there's no more lumps in there? It's completely smooth. Those are air bubbles you see. It's completely smooth, okay? That's exactly what you want, right? Now that just falls off the spoon. If you want it a little bit thinner, you can make it a little bit thinner. If you want a little bit thicker, you can make it a little bit thicker. Look how much milk we have left. That's why I don't measure it because it's up to everybody's taste. But thank you for watching as always. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that thumbs up. And make sure you come back next week for the best, simplest, easiest, delicious, recipes. As always, I'm Chef D for Chef State of Mind.